Okay, right here is a 1996 Caterpillar 5230. The 5230 was the third and largest model in Caterpillar's 5000 series line of hydraulic mining excavators. The machine was launched after the model 5080 as a front shovel in 1994. And a year later in 1995, the backhoe or mass excavator configuration was introduced. The 5230 was a big engineering step for Caterpillar. At the time of its introduction, it was one of the largest pieces of surface mining equipment ever developed by Caterpillar. The machine was designed to target the 150-ton class of off-road mining trucks, but the big machine is also very capable of loading 190-ton class trucks. Now let's go and get a closer look at this machine. In front shovel configuration, the 5230 was set up with a standard 22.2 cubic yard bull clam. The backhoe, or mass excavator configuration, which is what you're looking at right here, was set up with a standard 20.3 cubic yard rock bucket, which you can see right here on the front of this 5230. And an optional larger 31.4 cubic yard bucket was also offered for this machine for coal loading purposes. On the back of the stick, you can see the two big bucket cylinders to curl the bucket in or out. And on the top of the boom, you can see the two stick cylinders to push the stick in and out. Here you can get a good view of where the boom and hoist cylinders pin to the superstructure on the machine. Over here, you can see where the two travel motors are located to propel each individual track. And take notice that both the motors and the hydraulic lines that run to power the motors are encased inside of these metal shields. And this is to protect the motors and the hydraulic lines from any rocks or falling debris when the machine is in operation. Right here you can get a good view of one of the massive crawlers on this machine. The 5230 was available from Caterpillar with three different sized track shoes, depending on the working conditions and also depending on what the customer preferred. 51 inch general purpose track shoes were standard for this machine, but Caterpillar also offered optional wider 59 inch crawler shoes for working on softer ground conditions and also optional narrower 43 inch crawler shoes for working on hard rock. This big cat has a top travel speed of 1.5 miles an hour. And to help give you an idea of the sheer size of a 5230, this machine measures 24 feet 4 inches tall from the ground to the top of the operator's cab and the overall width of this machine from end to end of the side rails up top is 24 feet 6 inches. This drop down that you see hanging right here is a plug-in which allows the mechanic or fuel man to plug into one of these ports and fill the machine with either diesel fuel, engine oil, coolant, or grease right off of here so they don't have to take the hoses up on the top deck of the machine.
Now, let's go up on top of this big cat. Okay, this first compartment, which is located directly below the operator's cab, is the electronic room. Inside this box that you see mounted on the wall here is where all the computers, relays, and electronics are to work the machine. This compartment also acts for storage. Oftentimes, a lot of mechanics and operators will store some tools in here so in case the machine should break, they have quick access to some tools. Here you can see the massive superstructure on the 5230. And on the side of the superstructure right here, you can see the metal plate with the machine's product identification number and the model number. You can see where it says 5230. Okay, in this compartment, you can see the grease barrel for the central lubrication system. And here you can see the two big oil coolers. This is what cools all the hydraulic oil on the machine. The 5230 utilizes three swing motors, one in the front of the ring, and you can see two in the rear. In the back here is the hydraulic oil reservoir tank, which holds 415 gallons of hydraulic oil. Okay, on the right side of this machine is the engine house. And all of these compartments that you see right here are to get in and service the diesel engine and hydraulic pumps. Inside of this compartment is the pump room. Six variable displacement piston type hydraulic pumps power both the front attachment and travel functions, while two tandem variable displacement piston pumps power both the swing and bull clamp functions. And through this door is the engine room. Let's go inside and check it out. And right here you can see the massive Caterpillar diesel engine that powers this machine. It's a model 3516 EUI. This is a quadruple turbocharged and after-cooled diesel engine that produces 1,470 horsepower. This machine came standard with an auto engine speed control, which reduced fuel consumption by reducing the engine RPMs if no controls are activated after four seconds. Let's go up on the top deck of the machine. Unfortunately, the operator's cab on this machine is locked, so I will not be able to take you inside and show you the control setup. But from here, you can get a pretty good view looking through the window of what the inside of the cab on a 5230 looks like. As you can see, the cab is very large and oversized and provides a comfortable operating environment for the operator. This is standard Caterpillar control setup. The two joysticks that you see on the right and left side control all the digging functions of the backhoe in the front, or if the machine were set up as a front shovel. In shovel configuration, a trigger switch on the joystick controls the clam functions. The two hand levers that you see out in front of the operator's seat connect to the foot pedals on the floor, and that is how you travel the machine just like a smaller Caterpillar excavator. The machine comes standard with Caterpillar's Vital Information Management System, or VIMS, which monitors the entire machine when it's in operation. 
If you look off to the right side, you will see two display screens. The upper screen displays engine coolant temperature, hydraulic oil pressure, system air pressure, and the fuel level, while the lower screen displays operator requested information and also contains the vital information management system, three category alert system, which provides advisory information to the operator when the machine malfunctions. And from out here you can get a good view looking down at the backhoe or mass excavator configuration on the front of the machine. Here you can see the top of the diesel fuel tank, which holds 1,386 gallons of diesel fuel. And right here you can see the cap to fill the tank with fuel. Now on the back of the machine's counterweight, all of these red canisters that you see are for the fire suppressant system. Here you can see all the hoses which run out to power the backhoe in the front. On top of the engine house, you can see a ladder in the front to get down in front of the engine radiator and also to get at the grease line, which you can see wound up right there, which is used to lubricate the bucket. Underneath this grate, you can see the cap to fill the radiator with antifreeze. Here you can see the four air intakes and air cleaners for the engine. And you can see the tailpipes and the two big mufflers on the machine. And from here you can get a pretty good overview of what the top deck of a 5230 looks like. The smaller 5130 is basically set up the exact same way as its larger brother, the 5230. Of the fuel tank, you can see the decal that says 5230. The 5230 also featured a modular design, which allows this machine to break down into 11 pieces for quick transport and reassembly of the machine. And the overall operating weight of the 5230 in backhoe configuration, as you see right here, prior to 1997, is 346 tons. And in front shovel configuration, the 5230 weighed in at 347 tons. Following the improvements that were made to the 5230 series in 1997, the overall operating weight of the 5230 series increased up to 349 tons in backhoe configuration and 351 tons in front shovel configuration. Later on, in 2001, Caterpillar upgraded the 5230 to the new 5230B model, which featured many improvements over the original 5230 model, such as a 10% increase in hydraulic oil flow and a 5% increase in power, which was achieved from an upgraded Caterpillar 3516B diesel engine capable of putting out 1,550 horsepower. The new 5230B also featured improved final drives. These upgrades, along with many more that were made to the 5230B series, increased the machine's overall operating weight up to 362 tons in backhoe configuration and 360 tons in front shovel configuration. But there she is a 1996 Caterpillar 5230.